New developments and new allegations contributing to the escalating, ongoing political dumpster fire in the state of Virginia. Yeah, the already embattled Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax now facing a second allegation of sexual assault. There are mounting calls now for his resignation, and this morning, a threat to have him impeached. Meanwhile, the governor, Ralph Northam, is out with a fresh vow not to resign in the face of a chorus of voices saying he needs to leave over a blackface controversy. ABC's Zachary Keish is in Richmond covering it all. Good morning, Zachary. Hey, good morning to you, Eva. When someone discovered photos of Virginia Governor Ralph Northam in a dusty old yearbook, it would have been fair to assume that it would come with repercussions. But the all-out fallout around here, a list that now includes four men, has become unprecedented. This morning, an ultimatum for Virginia Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax after a second woman accused a politician of sexual assault in the last week. Any message for the citizens of Virginia? Uh, we'll have our say. I'm uh, confident the truth. Thank you all so much. Virginia House Democrat Delegate Patrick Hope last night saying if Fairfax does not resign by Monday, he will introduce articles for impeachment. I believe these women. He needs to resign immediately. A number of politicians and organizations echoed the same message, saying it's not in the best interest for him to remain on the job. It's an incredible turn for the 39-year-old African-American husband and father. The newest alleged victim, Meredith Watson, says Fairfax raped her 19 years ago while both were students at Duke University. Speaking to Good Morning America this morning, her lawyer says... She also has documents which we have made public, an email in May of 2016 and Facebook posts later in 2016 and 17. Which, in which she clearly says, Justin Fairfax raped me. But Fairfax releasing a statement saying, I deny this latest unsubstantiated allegation. It is demonstrably false. I have never forced myself on anyone ever. Earlier this week, Vanessa Tyson, a college professor, said Fairfax forced her to perform oral sex back in 2004. Fairfax has outright denied the allegations, telling reporters... This is one of the most blatant examples of a smear. Just a week ago, Fairfax was viewed as Governor Ralph Northam's replacement to lead the Commonwealth after this 1984 yearbook photo showing two people, one in a KKK hood and the other wearing blackface, drew loud calls for his resignation. It's not me, uh, and it was horrific, and the fact that it was on my page was just unacceptable. The governor adamant he's not going anywhere. In a memo sent to state employees on Friday and obtained by ABC, Northam wrote, you have placed your trust in me to lead Virginia forward, and I plan to do that. The turmoil leaving many Virginians wondering what's next after the third official in line, Attorney General Mark Herring, also acknowledged he wore blackface. I do need to note these are Ms. Watson's claims. We have no corroborating evidence at this time. Now, happening here in Richmond this weekend, lawmakers are home, but we do not anticipate that it will be quiet around here. Eva, Witt. All right, thank you, Mayor. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.